Hi, my name is John Petaway. Uh, my hacker handle is Tito Santana 0 I am a veteran and I am part of the Synac Red team. Served in the U.S. Army for nine years, six years in active duty, uh, three years in reserves. Um, my last duty station was Fort Polk, Louisiana. Um, and now I am located in North Carolina. West was an IT specialist. So that's pretty much a generalist of all things IT. So as an IT specialist, you'll serve in roles such as the help desk, you'll be a sysadmin, you'll be a network administrator. Uh, and then my final role before I got out, uh, I was doing ComSec. So I've always had a passion for anything computer related or IT, even cybersecurity. Uh, when I was younger, my mom, she bought a, a, say, compact computer, which I don't think compact's even around anymore. But um, we got a compact computer, and I was mainly the only person ever on that computer, just from visiting forums such as After Dawn, which is kind of like similar to a Reddit-style-based forum. But I was always in the PSP hacking forum, which is typically where they learn about kernel exploits, and they teach different things. Um, and then I even got into, like, I downloaded LimeWire and, of course, a bunch of viruses on my computer. And then I was very fascinated, like, what viruses actually were. And just to find out, it's just computer code. Um, so later on down the line, like, while I was in the military, I was getting my undergrad degree in computer science, which led me to learning more about, you know, computer security and everything and programming. Pivot, when I decided to pivot into cybersecurity, I always heard of the company Synac and the Synac Red Team. I've always heard that it's like the pinnacle of what, like the hacker pinnacle of just security researchers. Like if you're on the Synac Red Team, you were you were good. You were pretty, you were good to go. Um, so I definitely made it my mission to want to get on the Synac Red Team and become a member. Um, when I initially applied, I took the assessment. I, I didn't make it. I, <laughs> I feel pretty badly. But after that, I took a year to just learn more um, research different topics and just get better and hone my craft. So then uh, a year later, uh, I applied again. I took the assessment and, and I passed. I love testing on the web and APIs. Um, it's just so much more interesting to me. I'm starting to learn cloud myself, um, like on my spare time, but I mainly focus on the web targets only because I just I have such a passion for like websites you know and, and web applications like it's so bad to the it's to the point where um i'll be just be browsing casually on a website and i'll see like a, a parameter in the url and i'm like oh man what can i do with this <laughs> but luckily for the synac red team um i'm able to ethically hack on different targets and earn, earn money doing what i love at the same time Uh, I felt like I felt like it was my place to be, um, to be a part of a team of elite hackers and people that are um, security researchers. And I felt like it's a, it's a great place where a person like me as a veteran also to hone my skills and then also found out that there's a veteran community within Synac on, on the uh, on the Synac Red Team. And I feel like it's just home for me, uh, just talking and communicating with other veterans um, we bounce ideas off each other and, you know, there's playful banter between the different branches and everything. Um, it's just a great place to be if you're a veteran and also you enjoy. So the Synac Red Team is, also, is a community, but the veterans within Synac is like a community within a community. Um, a lot of, I think a lot of the U.S.-based researchers are all veterans. And like I said, it's just like you can bond already just from your experience of being in the military. But I feel like with the veterans, you, you you can bond even more the fact that you're hacking, you're a veteran, and it's just it just feels like you feel like a sense of uh, what's word I'm looking for, like bonding with other veterans. Like it's it, it's great. Like something you definitely have to experience to to believe it. it. It's awesome. I've met some really skilled, cool people just from being the snack uh, on the red team and the veterans channels. My re most recent engagement where I was hacking on this government site and there was a bunch of highly sensitive um, documentation that was leaked on the site um, that definitely should not be out in the public at all. So I disclosed it to the to Synac. Um, I was paid for it. And then it was just really interesting to see the, the different um, 
there's a different technology that different government uh, agencies work on and what they have. And it, it was a lot of fun, but uh, you can see some pretty interesting things for sure. First, I would suggest um, to find out what you want to do within cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is such a brass and very broad, a vast and very uh, broad field. And just find out what you want to do, whether it be the red team, blue team, whether you want to do incident response, GRC, just different things. Um, you're going to you're gonna excel in whatever your passion is. Um, so if you want to do the red team, there's sites like uh, TriHackMe, there's PortSwigger, um, there's Hack the Box, Pentester Lab. There's a bunch of different sites um, that you can subscribe to and, and learn uh, red teaming. But also, shameless plug, I'm part of a nonprofit organization part, called Blacks and Cybersecurity based out in uh, the DC metro area. And within Blacks and Cybersecurity, uh, I'm part of the veterans community where it's a, uh, it's a community of veterans who um, we just essentially just help each other out, whether it be navigating the VA healthcare system, um, resume writing, uh, just filing claims, cybersecurity training. We also give out um, exam vouchers for different certifications where you know our members can take free exams and get certified. Uh, like we see, just want to help each other out as veterans and try to help other veterans get, get further. If you're a veteran, if you're a hacker, definitely join the Synac Red Team. It's an awesome group. It's an awesome community. Um, you, you're going to enjoy it. It's a, definitely an experience and you meet, you're going to meet a lot of cool people, a lot of very smart people. And um, I think a person would be very happy there.